the gods are in all things. And everywhere, I see signs of change. The wind bears an unnatural chill. And my people grow uneasy. Now, fire burns the sky and scorches the vault of the heavens. I must carry out the will of the Patriarchs. When they need to see, I am their eyes. Where they wish to strike, I am their fist. When they would ignite the light of truth, I am their torch. They have sent me to where the heavenly fire has fallen. My mind is clear. I will rid Tristram of the shambling corpses that have risen in the fire's wake. I have kept my word and rescued my uncle, Deckard Cain. I saved him from a creature called the Skeleton King, who now bars my way to the Fallen Star. The long road the gods set me upon has led here. To the fallen star is a man. He knows nothing of who he is or where he came from. Perhaps Cain will know the truth. Tristram is safe. I travel to Chaldeum. The great city of the East. It has fallen before one of the last lords of hell. Belial. I mean to set the city free. Even as she drew her last breath, Magda swore that her master, the demon lord, Belial, would rule our world. That will not come to pass while I still live. We rescued Leah's mother, the witch Adria. She told us of the Black Soul Stone. An artifact that could destroy the last lords of hell. I will find it. And God's willing, we will use it in our fight. Chaldeum is free from Belial and his deception. Only Asmodan remains. He sends his army forth to strike at us from the heart of Eriad Crater. Bastion's keep is all that stands between us and certain doom. I will not allow it to fall. Bastion's keep is secure enough for me to enter the true battlefield, where Asmodan's war machines rain death upon the scattered defenders. I have destroyed the demon gate, through which Asmodan brought hell itself. Now, I will enter the crater and crush the Sinhards that empower his army, until only the Lord of Sin himself remains. Adria has betrayed us. From Leah's body, Diablo is reborn 
as the prime evil. And he commands all the power of hell. The high heavens quake under his assault, and the angels are in retreat. The gods forged me for this. I will slay the Lord of Terror. For all gods and men. Diablo has crushed the will of the heavens and driven despair into the hearts of the angels. But I have restored hope to them. I have seen no sign of Tyriel in the chaos. I must go on without him and destroy Diablo's hell portals. Diablo will corrupt the crystal arch high atop the silver spire. I must stop him or heaven will be lost forever. This is our last hope. Tyriel and I will ascend the spire and face the Lord of Terror, no matter what stands in our way. I have heard stories of angels descending upon the city of Westmarch, slaughtering man, woman, and child. But to what end? The city's defenders were powerless to stop them. But now, I have come. And I will protect all who can be saved. I have killed Urzea and destroyed the Reapers. The people of Westmarch can begin to rebuild. Lorath and I now go to the Blood Marsh. Adria is there, and she knows how to find Malfayan. Once she tells me where he is, I will end her life. Malfael tried to keep me from Pandemonium. As I draw closer to him, he grows worried. I will cross the ancient battleground of the angels and demons, where they have fought since the dawn of time, to the Pandemonium Fortress at its heart, where the Angel of Death waits. redeemed the angels and saved all mankind. In that moment, with victory at hand, I saw the Nephilim in a new light. She is a hero who can defeat the champions of heaven and hell, and a monk who protects the innocent but within her beats a mortal heart that will one day be tempted to corruption. On that day, will she have the strength to resist, or will she be our 